Oh boy, well, this is going to be a controversial one, to say the least, but uh, yeah, so anyway, as we all know, HBO Max has been developing a brand new reboot series of John Constantine for the DCU, and we know J.J. Abrams and his production company, Bad Robot, are developing this, alongside all the other Justice League Dark projects, including Madame Xanadu, Dead Man, I'm not sure if he's involved with the Zatanna movie, but that's happening as well, alongside, of course, the actual Justice League Dark series itself. And now we have an update on this John Constantine HBO Max series, and some of the details are really cool. Some other ones are, I don't really know yet, um, but obviously that is the controversial part. You already probably know from the title and thumbnail and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, let's talk about this. So this is all coming from Daniel RBK, aka Daniel Rickman, of course, a super reliable source. Um, he just posted a casting grid for this Constantine series on his Patreon. And basically the big headline of this is that Warner Brothers in DC are seeking a black British actor in their late 20s for the lead role of Constantine. And that right there, of course, is the big one. The big one that's definitely going to be controversial because th this is something we've been seeing a lot in recent years is race swaps for these comic book characters. Some of them turn out really well and some of them don't. And we'll see on this one. This is an interesting one because we already previously heard that they were going to do this with this Constantine anyway back a couple months ago when we heard that they were looking for a Riz Ahmed type. But now they're specifically looking for a black British actor, which is very different, um, especially from the comics version of Constantine. And so far, internet reaction that I've seen, not too many people are happy with this because, of course, we know DC and really all of Hollywood is trying to focus on diversity and representation, which is great, and I love that. And like I said, there's some great examples of that. But the only thing I don't like personally is just when they force it like this because... Personally, I believe that when you're looking for an actor for a role, for example, when you're casting a character based off a comic book where they are one specific race in the comics, unless that character needs to be a specific race, like for example, like Black Panther, there's no way they're going to cast a white guy as Black Panther ever. Well, unless that's the case, then honestly, they can cast whatever race for a character that they want to as long as the actor fits because the way i see it is that you know you need to cast the right actor for the role if that's a white actor that's perfect for constantine great if it's a black actor even better but what it's when they force it like this and just narrow it down to black british actor because that means that they're limiting it because that that basically means that if there was a white man that was perfect for this role like for example matt ryan who i think is the perfect john constantine he's been he literally is john constantine and most people agree with this that he is just perfect for the role like even if there is a white actor that's better than whoever they cast that doesn't matter because they're just focusing on a black actor. But then again, if they do find a black actor, a black British actor in their late 20s that is perfect for this role and really embodies the character of John Constantine, then great. I have no problem with that. Again, like there's been some great examples of that. It really it really depends on if you get the right actor. Like some perfect examples specifically in DC is the casting of Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon in The Batman. That is an amazing casting. Um I don't at least as far as I can remember, I don't remember seeing Jim Gordon being black in any other media, but it's just such a perfect casting that nobody is really arguing it. See same with uh Will Smith as Deadshot in the first Suicide Squad film. As far as I can remember, before that movie, Deadshot was never black. He was always a white man, but because you got Will Smith and he was so perfect for that role, nobody argued with it. So we could see something similar to that here with Constantine. If they get the perfect act for the role, nobody would, will argue with it. But again, it's just the problem I have with it is just that they're forcing this representation a bit too much. And I think like it, it, it's just too much. And like... It, the fan response is not good. There's so much backlash from this. And this news hasn't even blown up yet. It's not even like an official report. This is just, I guess you consider it just a rumor since it is just coming from a scooper. But still, like, yeah, it's not having a positive reaction. Um, Although for those that are interested in this and are willing to accept this, I have seen some great uh, casting ideas. Like, for example, John Boyega as Constantine. 
I could see that. I mean, first of all, he's British, so that's already great right there. Um, and uh, as you saw in the thumbnail, um, there is actually a picture of John Boyega wearing a very Constantine-like trench coat, and he looked very much like Constantine, so I could totally see him in the role, but again, it just depends on who you get for the actor. Like, it, does the actor fit the role? Then great, I have no problem with this. It's just when they force it like this, but... Anyway, kind of mini rant over. Uh, let, let me know your opinions on it in the comments below. Remember to keep things civil. Um, don't don't be too mean about this. Uh, use your words. Remember that. Be nice. But uh, anyways, also alongside that news, uh, Daniel RPK gave us also some other details on the series. Like, for example, the series title, which we assumed would just be Constantine. But uh, he revealed that the series is currently titled Justice League Dark. Constantine and that makes sense kind of but also at the same time doesn't because again we know that this along with Dead Man and Madame Xandu and Zatanna these are all building up to that Justice League Dark Project in a very uh Defenders on Netflix way or Avengers way uh where they're building up these solo characters and then bringing them together as a team so it makes sense that they would do something like that and maybe the other shows would be Justice League Dark Madame Xanadu or Justice League Dark Dead Man but at the same time it feels like that'd be like I I don't know if it'd be like forced too much because then it would basically be like focusing those characters into just being members of Justice League Dark and just setting them up for that. Whereas I think Constantine is a character that can really work on his own and you don't have to limit him to that. So, I mean, it's a cool title and of course to differentiate then uh, from the actual or original Constantine series that we had, I think, on NBC, of course, starring Matt Ryan. But, um, yeah, it's interesting. And also, that this series will focus less on the character's religious elements and more on horror, which I think is pretty cool as well, um, because that's something that they're really able to tap into on HBO Max with that more mature rating. So that's something I'm excited to see personally. And the series is targeting a start date in the second quarter of 2022. So I'm assuming that would be like maybe springish, somewhere around like March, April, um, which I think fits. I think that'd work pretty well. Um, and with that start date so soon, hopefully that means that we will get some sort of cast announcement at some point in the coming months. And again, looking like it will be a black British actor, but it depends on who they get in the role. John Boyega, I think, is a great option. Could be an unknown, some other actor I'm just not thinking of. We'll see. There's a lot of ways that this could go. This could be really good. This could be really bad. I love the character of John Constantine, so it's kind of we'll have to wait and see and it, it depends how things turn out but for now guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below what do you think about this news update on the constantine hbo max series what do you think about this casting news as well as the official title or at least current title working title for the constantine hbo max series so anyways guys thanks so much for watching please drop like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so i can keep it a date on everything goes on in the dc life